hey guys, it's me, King Human. If you don't know me, don't worry about it. I'm just an idiot on YouTube. So, but, let me start this video by saying, this is not going to be shtick. This is, this, I've got a serious question that I'm hoping one of you people out there can answer. It's, it's serious. So, you know, hopefully I'll get a few intelligent and serious answers on this. Um, I'm watching America's Got Talent tonight. Don't give me shit for it. And there's an act that comes on called the Fearless Flores Family. What it is, is it's a danger act. They've got a gigantic steel cage ball, a giant steel cage sphere. And they get in there with motorcycles, and they're going upside down, they're riding around inside this steel cage ball, upside down, it's just mayhem, you know. Now, here's where it gets pissy for me. The people on motorcycles in that ball, risking life and limb, are minor children. One is an eight-year-old boy, and the other is a 13-year-old girl, while the father stands in the middle of the ball watching this whole thing. It's not doing dick. He's just standing there while his kids are risking life and limb. Here's my question. How is this allowed in this day and age? How is this father not in jail for the reckless endangerment of his kids? I know we have these laws in place that say you cannot put your kids in jeopardy. You cannot deliberately risk your kid's life. It's reckless endangerment. But yet this guy is not only allowed to do it, he's encouraged to do it for the sake of entertainment. And I know some of you people are going to say, Oh, King Human, shut the hell up. It's obvious this kid wants to do this. He's been trained to do it. Shut up. Well, yeah, of course the kid wants to do it. He's an eight-year-old kid. He doesn't know any better. When you're an eight-year-old kid, the only thing you want to do is please your parents. You're looking for their constant approval. That's why we have these laws in place so that people like this asshole cannot exploit his minor kids for the sake of money, for the sake of an act. And yet, again, here is this guy, father, who takes an 8-year-old kid and a 13-year-old girl and puts them on motorcycles in this giant murder ball and lets them go ape shit. And nobody steps up and says, you can't do that. Look, if somebody took a monkey and put him on a motorcycle, locked him in a giant metal cage sphere and said, let him go nuts, the animal rights people would go ape shit and say, look, you're risking this monkey's life. You cannot do that to a monkey. But yet this guy's allowed to do it to his kids, his minor kids. Eight-year-old kid. And he said... The kid's been doing it since he was four. Who takes a four-year-old kid and puts him on a motorcycle inside a giant murder ball and tells him to go ape shit and gets away with it in this day and age? Tell me, am I overreacting? Is this, is this not common sense? I mean, we don't have child sweatshops anymore. We don't, we don't exploit kids anymore, but yet... It's okay to do this. What? Because it's entertainment? I don't know. You tell me. How is this father not in jail? Somebody's got the answer. I don't know who. But I just can't imagine taking a little kid like that, <laughs> putting him in this situation, and having it be okay with the country, or the world, or whatever. Hey, it's only risking <laughs> the life and limb of an eight-year-old kid. It's his kid. He can do whatever he wants with his kid. If he wants to light his kid on fire, shoot him out of a cannon, or train him to be a lion tamer, it's his business, right? Wrong. That's why we have these laws in place. We need to protect these kids from idiots like this father. 
Because there are people that will do anything to a kid to exploit them for their own purposes. They're... Okay. I'm... I'm I'm going off now. And I said I wasn't going to go off. I was going to be calm in this video. And anyway, if anybody has the answer to that, let me know. If there's no answer and this is just me being overreactive, I think I'm going to have to go back to my home planet because this place is just way too mental for me now. How nobody sees this stuff as exploitation of a child, reckless endangerment of a child. Everybody's watching it across the country. They're encouraging it. They're 